Hey there, my name is Danny Englander and today I'm going to show you quickly how to create a symmetrical minimalist architectural image with Adobe Lightroom in Photoshop. Um, so I've got my Adobe Lightroom CC 2015 open here and I'm going to choose this new photo that I took yesterday of a uh, looking up at some some buildings um, and I'll open it in Photoshop and let's see what we can do here. So I'm looking at this image and I kind of like the center area. So I think I'm going to select the center area, get rid of everything else and uh, make a copy of the layer and flip it to create some symmetry. And then I'll maybe add some adjustment layers on it and uh, perhaps a plain light blue sky. Um, okay, so let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just select this sky here and here. And, uh, and then what I'll do is I'm going to select the inverse because I want to get rid of everything but this building. And uh, I'll go to my layers here and I'll create a new quick mask. So you can see it just masked it right out. Uh, I'll do the um, polygon lasso tool and I'll just get rid of everything else here. Get rid of that. Get rid of all this. And now I'm gonna just select along this edge. Yeah, that's pretty good. Get rid of that. And uh, yeah, so that's a good starting point. And let's put in a new layer. Actually, I'm not, I don't want to do that. I'm going to copy this layer just to save a copy of the mask layer. I'll shut that off and apply the mask. So I've got my base image here. I'm going to do a new guide at 50% vertical. And a good quick tip is have your guide set to snap and you'll, you'll be happy later because things will just snap into place as you want them to. So I'll do a new guide, vertical, 50%. Uh, now I'm going to pop back over to Lightroom and um, I'm going to go to my little object library here and open up this sky that I photographed. And uh, I'm going to put that in here. And uh, by the way, you can find me on Instagram if you want to check out my Instagram feed at uh, Danny underscore Englander on Instagram. All right, so we have our sky here. This is starting to look like something. Um, so I want to take this building and see what parts of it I like. Um, so let's, I'm going to move this over a bit here. I kind of like that. Um, so I will select this. Now the other thing you could do, before I do that, I could select the whole thing and I could do skew if I wanted to, if I wanted to bring this a little more even and not so angled. So that might help here. So I'm gonna bring it up a little and then bring it over. Yeah, so that's nice. So I'll select this half at my 50% guide. I'm going to copy it, then select inverse, paste the other half in, uh, collect, uh, select the scale tool and do, um, or the transform tool and do flip horizontal. And then you can see it'll come right into place because we had our guide set to snap. So now we're, we have the makings of a minimalistic symmetrical architectural image here. So let's go to our layers. Uh, I'm going to just combine these two here, the building. I'll call this building. Oops. Okay. And I'll call this sky. And uh, I think what I'll do is I'll create an adjustment layer on top of this. So I just want to make sure I have my building selected and I'll do layer, new adjustment layer levels. 
and I'm going to just choose the uh, layer just beneath it and make it a little brighter there. Bring that down. So that's pretty good. Um, so you can see I have my adjustment layer. Now I'm going to maybe create a, you can do a lot with this. I'm going to create a, maybe a hue saturation adjustment layer. And uh, let's see, I'm going to rotate. So that purple is kind of nice. Maybe we'll make pink. And I think I want to get rid of that greenish tint. So I'll get rid of some yellow, get rid of some green, get rid of the cyan. So that's kind of neat. That's looking good. Um, yeah. So let's see, we want this to be a little bit bigger. There we go. Uh, now the fun, you can do a lot of fun things with this. Uh, so I think I'll just make a quick copy of this to save that in intact. Uh, so you can see what happened here is my adjustment layers kind of got confused. So I'm going to reselect just the layer beneath it. There we go. But you can see there's a lot of possibilities there. Um, all right. So now I'm going to do the transform tool again. And maybe I'll make this a little higher and I can do warp. There's all kinds of things you can do here. So I can warp this. That's kind of neat. Lots of fun with this tool. I'll go back to scale and just accept that change. Uh, so now I think what I'll do is I want to get my symmetry back. So I like the right side here, so I'm going to select that. Select my inverse again, paste in the uh, symmetrical half, and actually, whoops, I think before I do that, I'm going to commit these, I think I'm going to commit these uh, adjustment layers. So I'm going to do merge layers, and now I will copy this, whoops. There we go. And I will flip horizontal with my transform. And I'll move it in there. And it's right dead center on my guide. And uh, that's kind of neat. So you can see you can get a lot of cool effects with this thing. It's kind of uh, limitless what you can do. Um, and I think here I'll just make my sky a little less saturated. Uh, I won't do adjustment layer here. So I'll make it a little greenish, a little less saturation, and uh, I'll make it a little brighter. And there we have it. Okay, I hope you learned something, and I hope to be back with more videos soon. Thank you.